Hello. So this is a quick run through of how to build uh, this easy endogenic generator. Um, it's fairly small, fairly cheap, and still generates about 32,000 RF per tick uh, when it's running on peak performance. Um, step one, the first thing you need to do is make sure you're well inside a chunk. So the entire machine has to build inside one chunk um, so it doesn't cross chunk lines and cause lag. So uh, you can press F3 and G and you'll see where the chunks are. So we're well inside this chunk. We use this one. Um, I'll place down um, a three by three grid of where the main core will go. So that's here. This is where it goes. So we can turn off the chunk what is now. So um, the actual materials you need are, um, we have sequences, nine, uh, eight energetic generators, two redstone transmitters, two redstone receivers, one timer, one ender monitor, one pearl injector, two stone slabs, and 17 pieces of redstone. We also need some pearls to burn. Um, and for testing, we're using an advanced power cell, an oak chest for piping in the pearls, uh, and some ducts. Uh, just to keep the generator fed. Uh, you also need some building materials and a wrench. So to get started, um, sorry, that's better. Um, to get started, uh, we build a sort of T shape and a stair up, and we get on here and place the injector like this, so it's facing this way. So the, uh, the the pearl will come out in this direction. So uh, after we've done that, we add the energetic blocks. So all in a ring around the injector. Uh, we can already configure them. So to configure energetic blocks, you take the wrench in your hand. Uh, you'll see it already shows stats about them. And you just click them in the order you want the generator to fire them. So uh, it'll in get injected into this block. So this will be the first block. So first one to second one, second one to third one. And we go around like this until they're all connected. Yep, this is connected, so that's all right. Now every block gets one sequencer, those things. Um, when you place RF tool blocks on walls or even on the floor, um, take careful note of where you put your crosshair. If I put it towards the top of the block, um, the sequencer will point up. If I put it towards the bottom of the block, it will point down. Same with uh, left and right. So these need to point up into the energetic blocks. And on the other side. And then we can take out um, the front and back. And also play sequences there. And we can set up the timing sequence now. So um, considering, it, considering it's eight uh, eight energens, it actually has pretty simple timing sequence um, because it's very small and th that allows us to take some shortcuts in building it in building the control circuit later. Um, so we can get away with just one set of sequences and uh, a simple timing sequence. So this is the first block where the pearl gets injected. So this is the first sequencer. For the first sequencer, you take the first row and the fifth row. So we basically split the a sequence about in half. And for the first sequencer, you take the first dots each. So it's the first on the first row and the first on the fifth row. Um, and then from the from the top uh, dot, you go two over, one, two, and select that one as well. Um, you'll see how, the, uh, how this goes when I go around. Um, it's always the same for every generator, only it's shifted to what, uh, towards the right. Okay, so and make very sure you set this to once two so it fires correctly. So for the first 
uh, sequencer, you have the first dots and uh, two over and once two. Keep this in mind. All right, so the second one, second, second, two over, once two. Third one, third, third, one, two over, and once two. Oh, this is uh, wrong. If it's uh, wrong, you can rotate it by right clicking with the wrench. So this needs to point up. Okay. So this is the one, two, three, the fourth one. So four, four, two over, and once two. And the fifth one, uh, five, five, two over, once two. And the sixth one, number seven, and number eight. This is how number eight would usually go, but um, the optimal firing sequence for uh, energy generator is 10 ticks and we have eight blocks which each need one tick so we have eight blocks to cover 10 ticks so what we do is we take this uh, and move it two over so we uh, cover the whole firing range with eight blocks um, this would cause a slight power loss on this block but it will keep the whole system running smoothly so it produces more power overall okay so quick double check so we have all the sequences set to once two and they're in the right pos position. Mm -hmm. oh, that one is in once one. Good thing I checked. Right. And that is correct. Okay, so those are set up now. Um, we can begin building the control circuit. For that, we dig down a little. And this bit as well. I believe that one is a stair. Okay, so we need to get our, um, our wireless linking set up. So we'll have one link um, that tells the control circuit when a pearl has arrived in this block. And we have one link that uh, the control circuit can tell the injector to fire a pearl. So um, for that we need wireless transmitters and receivers. Um, the transmitter will go here and point upwards and I'll build a little stair and I'll link this receiver to it by right clicking so I take it in hand and right click on the transmitter and this needs to tell the pearl injector when to inject a pearl so we put down a block here with shift and Take the receiver and point it downwards, like this. Um, and then we'll put another block on here. Remove this one. And we'll set up another transmitter hooked up to an ender monitor. So when the pearl enters this block, the ender monitor will send a signal. So that goes here. And we set it to pearl arrived. And another transmitter connected to it. And then we take another receiver link it to the transmitter so right click so it's connected and then the receiver goes down here for the control circuit okay so we can take this out that's it mostly done already actually so um, you take your stone slabs you put one here and one here um, and you have your timer, which you put here. Right click, set it to 100 ticks. Now you have a sequencer, which is here. This is used to delay the firing um, of the first charge before we inject a pearl, so uh, we need to wait quite a bit. Should be here, and make sure to set this to once two. All the sequences in this build should be set to once two. And the only thing left to do is cover everything with redstone. Like this. And over here. 
it should be pulsing every five seconds, but only, um, yeah, yep, yeah, this should go every five seconds, and then shortly afterward, this should go as, uh, as well. So that's a uh, charge and fire. And again, charge, fire. So that's every five seconds when a pearl is not in the system. So we put this down. So the charging and firing signals reach our sequences. Yep, the stepping, so the firing. And this should be it. I hope I haven't forgotten anything. Um, maybe we should try right away um, and put a pearl in. So I'll, I'll cable this up. Hang on. I'll just put cables on the outside. You can do it from the top as well. Uh, you can also take out the central column and pipe uh, pearls from below into the into the pearl injector if you like. Just uh, as long as you have some way of um, getting pearls in and getting power out. We go, yeah, I think uh, I don't want to do the item piping, so we'll do the pearls manually. And we'll, no, we'll do a power cell here. And it's not set to receive, so we click the side with a wrench. So it's on input, okay. So this is empty, and I'm gonna Hope everything went well and throw in one pearl. Let's see if this works. Oh, I think this was immediately discarded. Random pearl discard. So, okay. Uh, the generator randomly discards pearl, pearls sometimes, even when it's uh, running correctly, just, uh, just to, uh, so you have some loss on it. Um, usually they go longer than that. Let's hope this works. Again. Um, pearl arrive while idle. Okay, that's a timing issue. Hang on. Oh, yeah, obviously this is, uh, <laughs> this is the eighth, um, the eighth generator. So this is the eighth sequence and it should obviously be on the eighth tick for um, for the charging cycle. So for the second half of the board, it goes to tick eight, not tick one. Now, yep, that's much better. Probably also random discard, yep. Don't have much luck today. Let's see how long this goes. 10, 10, 8, 9. This should be fine. Maybe I'm just unlucky. Let's try another one. Yeah, that's more like it. Okay, so the thing is running. And we've already generated about 9 million RF. So this, uh, I've tested it in other builds and this generates about 32,000 RF um, per tick. So if it's running well, um, you can get power pretty quickly. Yeah, so that's it for the build. Um, let me turn on the light. Um, just to, so you can see it, I'll take out the, the blocks here. So we can view it. So that's the control circuit. 
remind, a reminder that uh, this timer set to five, sec uh, five seconds, it's 100 ticks. Um, the sequencer fires at this point. And these two are stone slabs. Also, this transmitter is linked to the receiver here on the Perl injector. And the transmitter that uh, fires when the Perl is there is linked to the receiver down here on the control circuit. Everything else is connected by redstone. OK. Um, well, I hope you've seen that this is relatively easy to build for a, uh, for an energetic generator. Uh, I think it's very useful on things uh, like skyblocks or in uh, small outpost bases where you don't have much uh, space. Um, yeah, I hope it's useful to you. So, uh, bye.